Before she guest starred in the hit shows Sister Sister as Vivica Shaw and Cameron Reese in Days of Our Lives, Rolanda Watts was the host of her own talk show titled Rolanda, which ran from 1994 to 1997. Despite the growing popularity of daytime talk shows during that time, she abruptly ended her show, which left me curious why she decided to quit, especially since I felt her show had great topics and guests. I wanted to highlight how Rolanda landed her show, some of her most popular episodes, and most importantly, why she decided to end her show. So let's get started. The 1990s was a period in time where we were truly in the golden age of daytime talk shows, starting with the Phil Donahue show in the 60s and 70s to the Oprah Winfrey show in the 80s, both talk shows pioneered and helped usher in the era of an audience-led television format. The structure of their shows increasingly transitioned from the generic interview format to a style where the shows largely depended on personal confessions and, to some extent, violent confrontations. This approach of personal disclosure in a public forum only heightened in the 1990s, back when there was an influx of talk shows that arose due to the growth of cable television. As talk shows such as The Sally Jesse Raphael Show, The Montel Williams Show, The Jenny Jones Show, The Ricky Lake Show, Maury, Jerry Springer, and so many other talk shows that were short-lived, daytime TV soon became known as tabloid talk shows, also known as trash TV. Towards the late 1990s to early 2000s, the bulk of the daytime talk shows started to mirror the magazine genre and focused more and more on sensationalist and scandalous topics and soon became a nationally publicized center for horribly moderated debates, fighting, yelling, and unfiltered confessions. Daytime talk shows eventually became looked at as a form where the guests became more raunchy and vulgar and the audiences were given the green light to shout, insult, and condemn the guests for the sake of entertainment. When I look back at this period of time of some of the most infamous and iconic daytime talk shows, I notice people rarely discuss the Rolanda Watts talk show which ran from 1994 to 1997. Born and raised in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Rolanda yearned to become an actress, but was encouraged by her parents to pursue another profession. While attending Spelman for undergrad, she became the editor-in-chief of her school's newspaper. Once she graduated, she continued her education by attending Columbia University School of Journalism, where Rolanda was able to develop a true passion in journalism and redirected her focus to pursuing a career in the field. After graduating from Columbia, Rolanda officially started her journalism career by working as an assignment reporter for WFMY-TV back in her hometown of North Carolina. She then went on to become an anchor for the New Jersey Nightly News before making the move to the city where she dreamed of working in, which was New York City. In the Big Apple, Rolanda worked for NBC's local version of the Today Show, which was the WNBC as a morning and weekend anchor in which she was later nominated for an Emmy for Best Spot Coverage. She also worked as a street reporter and a weekly moderator on the political forum Eyewitness News Conference for WABC-TV. Rolanda's widely praised coverage earned her more opportunities as she became the co-host alongside Dorothy Lucy of the Lifetime talk show Attitudes. Though Rolanda co-hosted Attitudes for only a few years, it allowed her to not only strengthen her skill set in moderating and facilitating a talk show styled program, but it gave her the necessary exposure to cultivate an audience and captivate producers to help Rolanda earn her own show. Rolanda's talent and resume at that point in her career caught the eye of media executive Roger King of King World Productions. The son of Charles King, who founded the company, Roger is largely credited for helping launch the careers of Oprah Winfrey, Phil McGraw, also known as Dr. Phil, and Alex Trebek. He became the top distributor of the nationally syndicated programs, Oprah, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, and the news magazine Inside Edition. While working on Attitudes, Rolanda was tapped by Roger King to join his staff at Inside Edition as essentially a tryout in an attempt to see how national viewers would respond to Rolanda. While working as an anchor, correspondent, and producer for Inside Edition, Rolanda received positive and promising reviews from the general public, which confirmed to executives that Rolanda could carry her own talk show. Becoming one of the very few talk show hosts with a background in journalism, the talk show Rolanda served as a replacement to the low-rated The Les Brown talk show, which ended up getting canceled. 
Although the hour-long show Rolanda premiered on January 17, 1994, the show was blacked out on many news channels due to the news coverage of the 6.7 magnitude Northridge earthquake that took place in Los Angeles. Once the show started airing nationwide, Rolanda used her talk show to discuss controversial and educational topics as her background in journalism allowed her and her guests to engage in layered and insightful discussions. In her press kit for the show, Rolanda said, quote, We want to take this show to a different level. People want to make changes in their lives. They want to resolve their problems. What we're trying to do is empower them by examining issues that are relevant, thought-provoking, and passionate. We may not be able to find solutions every day, but in some way, we may be able to have a profound effect on their lives and the lives of our viewers by focusing on such issues, unquote. Throughout the first few years on the show, Rolanda touched on topics such as gun control, violence, various forms of addictions and abuse, and other social issues. She used her show to do a live broadcast of the O.J. Simpson trial in 1994, as she transformed her show as a public forum to discuss what was known as the trial of the century. Rolanda also had many high-profile celebrities and public figures on the show, such as Aretha Franklin, James Brown, LaToya Jackson, Whoopi Goldberg, Tanya Harding, as well as Lil' Kim, in which the Lil' Kim episode, they discussed the effect her music has had on children. I just want to make a statement, really. You said, what about those that don't have guidance? Every child that's out there, because when I was in the streets, I looked up to somebody. It's up that person, whoever I looked up to, always took responsibility and telling me what was right and what was wrong. But even though I did what I wanted to anyway, inside of me, I knew what was right too, because I what felt you doing is right. Exactly. What, what you're well, saying is what you're doing is right. Is that's the, that's the same. Well, I'm not saying in my from where I come from, this is what I've known, this is where I've been. You know what I mean? But when someone is looking at you, when someone is looking at you, when someone is looking at you, say this when someone is looking at you do whatever you're doing they're watching you that's a peer that you you then, are their peer exactly but then it goes back to what he's saying when you was younger and someone told you not you to do something problem. and when you, you did it when anyway. you were in the street like you said you were in the street there were times when your mother did not have control over you exactly. because of the situation that your mother was going through mm -hmm. if that was the case then let's say that same young person who does not have a mother who's out there working mm -hmm. listening to it 97 with no, with no guidance whatsoever. <laughs> Rolanda also had episodes where she discussed the hardships of turning a loved one into the law, teens who deal with racial confusion, how to deal with depression, the cycle of babies having babies, and an episode where the mothers of sons who were killed by Jeffrey Dahmer had a face-to-face -face discussion with his parents. These episodes did not even scratch the surface of the 1,100 episodes Rolanda aired over the span of four seasons. Despite her hundreds of impactful episodes and thought-provoking conversations, Rolanda decided to abruptly pull the plug on her talk show, in which she also served as a supervising producer. When looking at her other competitors, such as Maury, Jerry Springer, and Ricky Lake, which will all becoming increasingly sensationalist, many viewers expected Rolanda to follow the same route. When speaking to Soap Opera's Digest, Rolanda said, quote, One of the tones that I set on my show was, y'all, look, I'm a journalist. I can't blow my whole credibility on who shot Johnny, but there are other ways that you could do a story. We took shows like, there are too many babies calling my man daddy. And while that got the audience in, it was also a story about single parenthood and kids without fathers. It was about the deadbeat dad syndrome. It was a way to be compelling without being sensational. Of course, eventually that didn't work anymore. Audiences were saying, well, that was really nice of you to be so respectful, but where's Jerry? We had to make a tough decision. Either we go that route or we find something else to do, unquote. Rolanda spoke on how she was not willing to give up her integrity and her credibility as a journalist to succumb to the pressure of high TV ratings. She later went on to speak about her talk show when she went on the Tamron Hall show in 2020. Rolanda said, quote, there were some sensational things that were going on, you know, with all the baby daddy drama and all of this stuff. And it got to a point where it just got nasty. We had one show where there was a couple, and the guy reveals that he was having an affair on this woman. And the woman says, well, I'm having an affair on you. And the guy stood up and spit on this woman. And I said, no more, I cannot do this. I can't take a shower after every show. And I came out and apologized to the audience. I gave everybody pizza. They gave me a standing ovation. And I said, I don't want this to be the direction that the Rolanda show goes to. Everybody else will go off and get other jobs, but it's about your brand, unquote. 
After her show ended, Rolanda pursued her acting career where she was featured in several shows and movies. She also launched her own production company, Watts Works Productions. She continued her involvement as a spokesperson for several community organizations and launched her own web series on her YouTube channel. Compared to other daytime talk shows, I always felt Rolanda was rarely mentioned. Even though she was in an oversaturated field of dozens of other talk shows at the same time, it was easy for her to go under the radar, especially since she made an effort to stay away from all the drama and antics her fellow talk show hosts had on their shows. Rolanda was able to set herself apart from the crowd with her unique, articulate, and confident tone of voice and the educational and well-rounded topics she discussed on her show. Though I wish her show continued, it is nice to know that she chose her morals and integrity over money and ratings. Let me know in the comments if you watched the Rolanda show and what some of your favorite episodes or guest appearances were. Do you have a favorite daytime talk show that you watched growing up? What do you think about the current state of daytime talk shows and their impact on society? Which ones do you watch and how would you compare to the talk shows of the 90s and early 2000s? Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.